You know you're in for some fun when Sinpai's the deck donator. This month, as foretold in Vintage. Welcome back, Vintage Gamers, to a Wednesday night donation deck league, your monthly Senpai donation deck. You can thank Senpai for the continued support, as well as uh, forcing me to play some things that are a little sketchy for my liking. However, this one tonight, we've got some powerful blue cards in it, so maybe, maybe it'll work out. Uh, I am choosing to play as foretold. This is a two and a blue enchantment. Uh, on your upkeeps, you get a time counter, and once per turn, you may cast a spell for free instead of paying its mana costs as long as the converted mana value of the spell is the number of time counters or less. Uh, the big combination that everyone has usually done with As Foretold is suspend cards with converted mana cost zero. So we get to play Ancestral Vision today. Uh, so five Ancestral Recalls in our deck if you cast this off of the As Foretold. Uh, but we're also going to dabble in some other sweet suspend cards. We've got Inevitable Betrayal, which as far as I can tell, this looks like bribery to me. So this is a the suspend version of bribery. Uh, and we also have restore balance, which is the suspend version of balance. So three balances, five ancestral recalls, four free briberies to go in our as foretold deck. Uh, to fill out our as foretold deck, I have chosen to play uh, blue, white, big blue Urza Saga shell. Uh, the reason I'm doing that is because I think it's important to have our full Mox and Mana Suite to try to power out as foretold as quickly as possible. Uh, and Urza Saga fits the bill in that uh, that area. White gives us access to the Restore Balance, which I thought would be pretty interesting, as well as a pile of Swords of Plowshares in the board, uh, as well as a nice catch-all answer in Teferi. Um, we can tinker for Bolas of Citadel. That's always a powerful thing. And we can also do Saga and Volt Key. Uh, this deck is extremely, extremely vulnerable to Lavinia. So I do have a Caracas in the main. And after choosing to play blue-white, the Caracas should be a pretty reasonable inclusion in the current main uh, for the, the metagame right now. There's a lot of legendaries running around. Atraxas and Lavinias and Lurises, etc. So uh, I think it makes a lot of sense if you're playing white right now to see if you can find a way to play a Caracas in your main. The rest of the sideboard is just a pretty straightforward, uh, normal, like, blue X Tinker Shell sideboard. Normal Saga uh, tutor targets for anti-bizarre. Uh, oh, there's still a Tabernacle in here, but I've gotten rid of the black tutors, so the Tabernacle should probably go, and we can just play, like, a Portal instead. Um, so when I, when I play one of each black tutor, I like to have the one of Tabernacle, but if we play a... Um, uh, a, a version without tutors it doesn't really make a lot of sense to play one tabernacle. If you wanted the tabernacle's effect, you should probably play like two. Um, some fluster storms, some anti jewel cards with steel sabotage, an anti saga card in fragmentize, and a pile of swords of plowshares round out our sideboard. So I think this deck is not too bad. Uh, we are definitely using our Esper Pio or not Esper Pio Esper Tinker flex slots in a little bit of a a weak way, but these are all pretty much blue cards that pitch the Force of Will and Force of Negation, so that kind of negates the downside, and hopefully uh, we will be able to cast some free Suspend cards. Uh, I'll see you for round one. Are you interested in weekly vintage metagame recommendations? Do you want to see your deck list played on my channel? Or maybe you are just looking for the best way to support my vintage content. Make sure you check out the Patreon link in the description below. Let's battle. Okay, let's go. We've got OKMV across the table. Notable uh, death rate shaman enthusiast. And they have a Luris, so it should be interesting. Our hand does contain an As Foretold, but it is a little light on mana sources. And it has the classic key. Mystic Remora... Not not the best card in, in 2023. Sorry. I might just keep this hand because realistically, is it really getting better than this? 
Like we fetch a basic island, we suspended ancestral visions. If we draw multiple mocks in, we're in a decent spot. Like it's gonna be fine. It's I think this is fine. It's fine. Like the manifold key I wish was like a force, but like we can draw mana vault and mana no, I guess we can't draw mana vault, but maybe draw mana crypt and black lotus and simply drawing lands is very good. Why do we feel why why does chat feel like this is not fine? I have two of my four as for tolds. Mm, I want a soul ring. No, we can't lose on turn one. My opponent is playing Luris. This feels worse than a five. In what way? In what way does this feel like this hand? Like I, I can't mulligan a hand that has an as for told chat. It's like it's not allowed. So I'm not going to suspend my ancestral vision. Instead, I'm going to play a manifold key so that the turns on the Stellarian Academy. I don't know. Chat is being a hater right now. I thought this hand was totally fine. Put Luris in hand. Probably. Okay, put Luris in hand. Okay. It's not like my opponent's doing anything strong. All right, I'd love a little little Moxon draw here. Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, yeah. Okay, all right, okay. <laughs> uh, I am going to cast as foretold. Chat, you need to expand your range. Your range, your chat's range is too small. You need to expand it. <laughs> so are we casting, if it resolves, are we casting bribery or, uh, or draw? Oh, it got force of will, pitching force of will. It's okay. We have a backup. Don't tell anybody. Uh, should I suspend ancestral vision or should I just wait for this? I just wait, right? Wait, wait, if I plus to fairy, that means I can play an as for told zero drop on my turn and their turn. I mean, I could get, like, a Lavinia or something off the bribery, right? I'm not saying the bribery is, like, amazing, but, like, it could be useful. Does it mean that? I think so. What is this, a Vampiric Tutor? Oh. Yeah, as foretold is every turn. Mm-hmm. All right, it's Luris time, maybe? Oh, they don't have a bobble or anything yet. They are, there are two cards. There, there, there is no world in which my as foretold does not result. Well, I guess they could have draw a spell pierce. <gasps> the Honorog Raid. Honorog Raiders, you have come at a great time. We are about to resolve as foretold in Vintage. Hopefully. Please. Ugh. Teferi. All right. I will cast as foretold. I'm going to cast Ancestral so I can draw land, to be honest. That seems better. As for, cast using as we're told, target me. It's like a, a bowmaster. No, not a bowmaster. God damn it, man. All right, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I need to draw three cards anyways. It's the perils of having ancestral five ancestrals in your deck. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's not a big deal. I have a bow. I have a Teferi. It's fine. Like, they had one remaining card that they drew this turn. Like, come on now. So, I can theoretically suspend an inevitable betrayal. I think we need to do that. Bowmaster kill Bowmaster is not exactly great versus the Luris deck. But oh, Plains is pretty good for us. But we have Constructs coming, so we'll be fine. I will put a time counter on my as foretold. A white mana would be... That's not a white mana. Alright, let's cast uh, Inevitable Betrayal. Just having two blockers is probably good enough anyways, right? Okay, so it is just blue-black control. Let's take a quick screeny here. Uh, it's just a very normal blue-black control deck. I'll take a Bowmaster. 
I'm just gonna ping. I uh, ping their bowmaster is dumb, so I'll just ping the uh, them. Get us some blockers here, and then uh, I think we're in the clear here because we do have the active Urza saga. We've got a counter spell. We've got these Teferis. We can go get a, a a Black Lotus with our Urza Saga. Start bouncing stuff. I guess blocking with this Bowmaster is like not exactly ideal against um, Alurus either. Fatal push. I'm going to have to force the, that one, it looks like. I think I just pitch the second Inevitable Betrayal. I think I'm willing to just trade the construct. I don't need to trade the construct. But it just makes my position a lot safer, doesn't it? Take one. Maybe getting a bowmaster is silly then from bribery. I just like wanted as many blockers as I could get. I'd like to have forced the Lurus on the way back down, but it doesn't look like that's going to happen here. Maybe I'll draw a force or something. I don't know. I feel like a second Teferi has a lot of uses here. I'm just going to get a Pearl to start, though. Maybe... It's not actually that good because there's currently a Bowmaster. I was like worried about Flusterstorm and stuff. Maybe I should have looked at their deck list first. Why didn't I build tokens end of turn? I built tokens. And I did build tokens on their turn. I, I blocked their 4-4 construct and traded, which may or may not be correct. Um, yeah, I guess we don't actually have to bounce anything, right? Plus, okay, I should have kept the second inevitable betrayal then. A Shadow Spear, yes. My zero creature deck could really use the Shadow Spear. <laughs> um, what they draw? Did you a Treasure Cruise? That kills Luris, doesn't it? Is that worth it? Yeah, but what if we like hard cast a force and got fluster stormed or something, right? Like Unfortunately, this can I'm just going to take one every turn. Yeah, but how often am I resolving a bribery? I really need I don't actually play Luris. That is not something that I'm playing. All right, I do need to draw like something that matters though. Okay, I finally drew a force. So, I can bounce the Bowmaster and then bounce the other the Luris maybe. Wait, why didn't I bounce the Bowmaster last turn? That would have been fine. Oh, I can cast the Teferi for free. It's probably actually worse to do that in case I draw another spell that matters, right? Uh, 
I have a I have a Teferi. You can't cast that. I will keep this Teferi. And then I will bounce your Luris. Oh, come on! So which one am I countering? I have a Caracas now. They drew a Wasteland. Shit. They hit my Academy. Oh no. Wait, I can still force Luris though, right? Because I can untap a Soul Ring. Yeah, I'm just going to counter the Luris, even though I have a Krakus. Oh, they're going to... You can't cast Bowmaster in response to anything. <laughs> Still illegal. This is Bowmaster. Oh, this is Luris. All right, so I just counter Luris though, and then I'm at three. They have a Bowmaster. They have to main phase it. Kills my Teferi, but I mean I have an active unblockable construct token. So, or maybe they just kill my Bowmaster then. Oh wait, what if their last card is uh, Treasure Cruise, like we thought? Their last card is Treasure Cruise, right? God damn it. I knew they had Treasure Cruise, right? I can't... I have to counter the stupid Bowmaster. Why did I listen to chat? They're so wrong. Let Luris resolve, counter the Bowmaster, and bounce Luris. God damn it. Okay, it's my fault. I this is, this is my fault. This is what happens when you stream. I lose this game. I threw the whole game for no reason. Whatever. I threw the game. It's my fault. I, I knew I was right. I knew I was right. Ah, uh, it's fine. I just have to let the Luris resolve and crack us the Luris because they wastelanded the wrong land. So stupid of me. Okay, it's okay. Well, I mean, we won anyways. <laughs> Never punished. Never once punished. They only had one Bowmaster in there. They didn't have a Bowmaster in their yard, though. Right? Like, they didn't actually have a Bowmaster in their yard, right? So, like, I just... Let the Luris resolve. They cast the, Lur the the Bowmaster. I bounce the Luris and force the Bowmaster. Uh, if they went Bowmaster, Luris, Bowmaster. Okay, if they have enough mana and do that, then 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 it's correct. You're right. But they messed up, right? All right. So we're playing against Blue Black. Let's focus here. Uh, our cards are not really for Blue Black. I guess we would maybe want a Soul Guide Lantern. If they didn't have enough mana, then, like, I think it was just a misplay on my part. A fragmentized... Wait, wait, where's their deck list? Didn't I have a snipshot of their deck list? Oh, I have to go back. Hold on. I got rid of the snipshot of the deck list here. Oh, that's still not the right thing. Why am I saying snipshot? It's not even a thing. Where did we cast inevitable betrayal? Right here. All right, needle, spell bomb, key. So they have vault key. 
Okay, that's what I was looking for. All right, so I'm going to bring in a Fragmentized, a Soul Guide Lantern. I feel like we're going to trim some inevitable betrayals here, considering my opponent has no creatures in their deck, basically. Um, I definitely want Needle, right? At least a Needle. I feel like inevitable betrayal is just garbage against Bowmaster Luris. We just play, like, some swords instead. I mean, negation is terrible, too. Okay, so we'll play some removal. Maybe we play just two needles. Wasteland and, and uh, Vault Key and Saga. Yeah, that seems fine. I think Cage is worse than just playing Soul Guide Lantern. No, 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 no. We're not... That, that's not how Needle works. All right. Okay, focus. Focus, focus, focus. Play Magic. I want to win with this deck. It's pretty fun. I was like pretty under the impression we were supposed to counter the Luris there, but because they were, if they were constrained on mana and we have Caracas, then it makes sense to counter the Bowmaster. So I kind of thought they were going to wasteland the Caracas, not the Talarian Academy, to be perfectly honest. I think this is a needle on a wasteland angle. Gotta be careful of Bowmaster, but maybe a hard cast reveal in our future, depending on if they tap out or whatever they choose to do here. Saga Gaming. Hmm. By Luris. Not great for us. I would like to have needled Saga if that was gonna be the case. Well, we have our own Saga. The problem is it's just worse, right? They specifically kept up a Sapphire here. I don't think we have the luxury of waiting, though. I'm pretty sure this just has to be Lorien revealed. Hopefully they don't have a Spell Pierce. They didn't Spell Pierce our Needle, and we had an active, like, Lotus, but maybe. I don't know. All right, Force on Lorien revealed. All right, we'll definitely Force back. Lorien revealed's really good here. Okay, well, we've got a lot of creature answers, so that's good. They have four cards now. We probably want to wait till our Saga comes off of uh, Vanishing so that we can balance afterwards. Though they have a Luris Bobble coming as well. They probably shouldn't play Luris Bobble. Okay, they have Feed the Swarm on my Saga. A problem with the balances here are... Hmm. Probably still correct to just fragmentize this. We also are behind on cards, which makes balance a little bit awkward. Um, I think what I'm going to do is I will probably try to swords the Luris uh, and see if I can't bait a counter spell with that. And then I'll balance. I don't, maybe I, at some point in this game I was supposed to suspend balance, to be honest. Oh, they didn't even play Luris. All right, well, in that case, we're definitely can wait. I, I, I'm, I, I think we're past the point where we can wait six turns and suspend balance, so I might as well hold it for an as foretold. I mean, they have a Luris and two unknowns, which means they probably have like hard cast negation or something. Time walk. I feel like... Yeah, it's kind of the vibe I got from them.
They're like trying to find a way to play Aluris with like pretty good protection, but they just haven't really found one. This is blue, blue, blue. Black. What is that? Treasure cruise? I'll force it. Alright, they forced back, leaving them with Luris plus they had brought in Mind Break Trap. Interesting. Alright, well things are bad. Time vault. Just gonna suspend this restore balance. I don't know when that will come into play, but probably should have done it earlier, to be honest. But at least it gives me another option here. I'm going to probably cast balance if they play Aluris, but Another Moxon. It's really good here. Another Saga. This is a really bad spot. My opponent just drew too many cards for us here. It's not like we even have lands because we lost our land of Fragmentize or whatever. Feed the Swarm. Yeah, these are just the worst possible draws in our deck. They have a, they drew a Spell Pierce. It's just unre unreasonably bad for us. Five turns? Okay, I actually think we are at zero outs now. I mean, there was a reason I tried to counter the Treasure Cruise. It was just going to put us way too far behind, and it did. All right, let's just go next game here. We need to draw a lot better than we did. Maybe in the end, I mean, I 50 50 Needle versus Wasteland in a spot where I didn't have any mana, and maybe I was just wrong. I just needed a Needle Saga. But I, like... Eh, it's hard to say, really. Like, they just happen to have sagas and no wastelands, and we had all non basics. And if we, like, got wasteland, it would be really bad for us. All right, maybe we can have Mana Crypt Island Saga, uh, as foretold Ancestral. Maybe that, maybe, maybe. Any gamers? Uh, yeah, I mean, I'm gonna keep it. Two Ancestrals. That's not even legal in this format. All right, draw three. Okay. Well, I would like to stop drawing Restore Balances, I think. <laughs> if, I, if I had to guess, drawing Restore Balance is not good for my, uh, my chances of winning the game. All right, well, I'm going to suspend a restore balance to get down to seven cards. I think I'm just supposed to hold the Ancestral Vision because I have an As Foretold. What is this? Island Cycle. I, of course, have drawn Tinker and have Citadel. But I guess I have Volky in my deck, too, so. You see, you see. You got it. All right, well, I need to draw another land. I drew an Ancestral Vision, uh, ancestral Recall. I drew three cards, and I'm still missing land drops. How is that possible? <laughs> Just so dumb. All okay. right. Get rid of this other Restore Balance. A problem is, if this Restore Balance gets cast and I have a full grip, it's not really a good place for me. Strip mine! Oh, wait, there's buying Luris? Sure. Please, please, this is my time. I need this in my life. I need mana. Thank you. Okay, now we're gaming. We are absolutely gaming now. I think I just have to do that as... Or maybe I just have to play the Teferi first. It's probably better. Also, because I'm, I'm going to overdraw if I cast Ancestral, so. 
Horse. Horse. Teferi. Plus Teferi. All right. Okay. 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 Big, 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 huge, huge. I think this is a good spot. Six cards in hand. I think this is a good spot. We have to consider this. Can I, I, I always have to cast, right? I can't choose not to cast. Anyone know? Anyone got suspend Oracle text on there? I'm still going to cast my Ancestral here. All right, show me your secrets. Force, Luris, Needle, Needle, Dig, Fluster. Oh, they're dead. Oh, they're so dead. They're just super dead. I guess I can just draw a Volt Key. So maybe I should just bounce this and counter it when it comes back down. Ooh! Next turn. Ooh! <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Can I... There's like no way I can put it on the stack in a really powerful way. That's fine. This is going to name Teferi. Also, like, minusing... Oh, I guess that means I can't ever use my Teferi to do the, the sweet Ancestral Visions. Oh, they just named Time Vault? Sure. You got it. I did not plus, so I, I, I know. But I think I'm never going to be able to pl minus or plus again, probably, if I had to guess. My whole plan is to like stop them from I guess they don't they can't win with Time Vault anyway, so I should have countered this. Because they named Time Vault. Okay, okay, I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I'm bad. I should have countered this one so I could keep using my Teferi. Silly Justin. We do have a restore balance coming. I wonder if we should just not cast uh Ancestral Vision. No, 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 I minus the Teferi. I have to plus the Teferi to do the, the Ancestral on their turn play. Um, I, I had minus bouncing a Manifold Key because the only way I lost was Volt Key. So now I question... I still have two turns before, before Restore Balance, so I think I'm just going to cast an Ancestral here. It's not even like bad if I like lose these spells. Okay... Just draw a bunch of cards. Oh yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh, oh, we're doing it. <laughs> I'm speeding myself up to restore balance. Maybe I should suspend an ancestral instead. Uh wasteland, I guess. I don't want to lose saga, so. I do not have to cast off Suspend. I'm getting conflicting reports here. This Restore Balance is not... I guess they have more cards than me anyways, so I don't even have to worry about that. It's just the land thing that's an issue. Whatever, man. I don't care. I'm just drawing cards here. Here's my saga. If I can just not cast, then there's like no problem at all, right? So. Uh, all right. Wait, I should just strip mine them, right? 
Because I'm going to beat them with constructs anyways. Probably. Okay. That, that sounds like I'm supposed to be able to... Not be able to. But my opponent's going to have like way too many cards in hand anyway. So it's not like we're losing cards. We're just going to lose some lands. Oh. You're totally right. I should I should have done that. Because I'm going to... I mean, I'm going to lose my lands anyways. Maybe it doesn't matter. I, I don't have to counter this key anymore because there's a thing on this time vault, so... I, I'm playing a little loose. Playing a little loose, obviously. Yes, we could have suspended the Ancestral, but I kind of want to cast the Ancestral on this turn, so... All right, so now's a... I can't not cast it, so I will cast Restore Balance, which means I lose two... No, oh, I... It's fine. I wasn't casting these spells anyways. I'll keep this land, and they lose a card. They don't have Tinker in their deck, so Tinker does not beat us here. I know their whole deck from uh, game one. All right, so cast this. Play Anurza Saga. I think I'm just supposed to cast uh, Lorien Revealed and try to draw into uh, forces. Also, if I draw a white mana, then I can kill this and win the game immediately, too. If I draw a Fragmentize, I mean. Asphertolds are two separate Asphertolds, so... <laughs> My opponent is is off it, so they're off it. One zero. <laughs> oh, Lur yo, Teferi is a broken magic card. All right, so I'm drawing three. Top, mystical. Where are my Force of Wills? Do I have Force of Wills in my deck? Hmm. Either way, like we're gonna just draw three million cards every turn, so. <laughs> All right, here we go. Round two, probably against Dredge. Oh, hello. Keep. Keep. I like to keep. The The best way to win with your bad brew is to simply cast turn one Tinker for Volus of Citadel, so... Foretold. Ugh. Exile to Serum Powder. Boo! Alright, would they exile to Serum Powder? It's, it is Dredge. Alright. Well. I'm jamming, so. We even have the backup Saga Time Walk plan. Oh, okay. Citadel's in play. Negation. <laughs> oh, okay, I see you. It's fine. Probably. It's probably fine. Vigor? No. Okay, well. Negation, not the best. But we have Time Walk coming, so we can inevitable betrayal some Golgari Grave Trolls or something. <laughs> I don't know. We could force our Ruby. I think that's a worse play than simply doing nothing. Maybe not. Here's our Time Walk, I guess. I, like, uh, forcing the Ruby opens yourself up to getting Vigored, right? And there's just, like, no reason to do that. We're going to have a, a Citadel, another Citadel turn at 20 life. Like, it's fine. This game is the worst game of all time, right? Like.
It's just, it's just, it's just, oh, come on. You held it through my upkeep? This is, this is really? All right. We just lose. <laughs> uh, I mean, like, theoretically, if you assume that my thing on hand is a counter spell that I can't cast, like a fluster storm, then it makes sense to wait until the draw step to play Vigor. I don't think it's, like, an unreasonable play. I just am tilted about it. I would like to go to the Oklahoma land run. I have not yet made a commitment to do that. All right, whatever. This game is over. Oh, I thought we were going to win that game. But, like, every Citadel deck has a mental misstep and a negation. It's not like my deck is worse than other decks. I just happen to draw the ones that were complete blanks. It's just, uh... Classic unlucky gaming. All right, we're going to bring in all these things. We're going to take out these things probably i mean these cards are like not good like none of my cards are good but i guess theoretically we need fluster storms for our sagas and our as if we're told maybe not actually sure result where store balance is the play i mean inevitable betrayal is also not very good right but like what are we doing really don't feel like our deck is going to give us enough time in this situation. Like the other, our last opponent's deck was gave us a lot of time. This time, we don't have that. Uh, I guess we could keep, I don't know, Probe is probably fine. I thought we were going to win that game one and steal the dredge, steal it from dredge, but our Citadel had other ideas. It doesn't, I mean, if it, it could have been a land, right? So, like, waiting until upkeep is only playing around counters, not lands. I don't know. I'm going to try to find something better than this hand. Well, that does not qualify as something better. They kept seven. <laughs> Uh, okay. Oh, I kept in negation. That's really bad of me. That card is completely blank in this matchup. <laughs> Keeping negation there is pretty embarrassing. Apologize for that. Just missed it when I was looking through cards. I'm not going to play around the wasteland on my tundra here. Just looking to mystical for tinker and hope it resolves kind of deal. I don't really feel like we have another way to play out this game anyways. All right, four cards in hand after I Mystical for Tinker. Well, this time it will definitely work because I'm not going to get Citadel. I'm going to get a Sphinx of the Steel win. I boarded out my Citadel. But I mean, it's, it, like, it is just my only plan, right? So This is like one of the problems with grief over something like more counter magic is that top deck tutors are quite good against it. But I mean, I, I assume opponent's just going to have a force anyways, so I'm not highly optimistic. They could even just have Vigor right now on Crypt, if that's what they wanted to do. Yep, 
They had they kept seven cards, black card grief, blue card force. Sick. Uh. <laughs> and green card vigor. <laughs> and green card vigor. <laughs> oh. People will unironically tell you that Bazaar needs to get buffed right now, by the way. Just, 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 just a thought. People have told that to me. <laughs> uh, simply be a better gamer. <laughs> they had a dredger too. They had dredger, bizarre, blue card force, black card grief. Green card vigor. That's crazy. All right, I had no chance. It's not my deck's fault, chat. I swear. I swear it's not the deck's fault. I swear. Three amalgams? Jesus. All right. Well, I've been vanquished. All fun ideas. All right. Unfortunately for round three, our opponent just didn't show up and left the game. So I'll go to the round four. All right. Hopefully round four, our opponent is here. Hopefully they're not on... Uh, oh, they're not on Luris. Our hand doesn't contain a white source, but it does kind of go hard in the paint. I wonder if we're just supposed to like balance their whole hand away here. This is a pretty nice example hand of what happens if you like unrestrict balance. I think a lot of games end up looking like this, uh, which is not a good thing. So I think, I think I'm just interested in mind rotting my opponent here or not mind rotting, mind twisting my opponent for six of their seven starting cards. So, yeah, I'm going to sacrifice my Krakus, and they're going to discard set six out of seven. Holy moly. Yeah, that's... <laughs> my opponent said that's effed up. <laughs> oh, coveted jewel. Well, it's a good thing we did that, or we'd be dead. And then we've got Lorien revealed into Tinker. Sick. We do lose our uh, Sensei's top, but we win the game, so. All right, we don't even have to show them as foretold. Brilliant. <laughs> no, I hit reveal hand. Uh, whoops. <laughs> and that is why, for all you new vintage viewers, we don't unrestrict balance. All right, so I'm going to bring in Steel Sabotage. I'm going to bring in Fragmentize. Then one Needle. What kind of creatures are in the... um? What are kind of creatures are in the the deck? It's just metamorphs. I feel like we don't want restore balance or balance in our deck, really. Um, I mean, we have a lot of counter spells in this matchup. Could be good. I could bring in Masticore. True. And I feel like we should like trim some inevitable betrayals. Is what I'm trying to get at. Like that, we uh, it's fine. We're gonna play the control deck here. <laughs> All 
All right, so unfortunately I can't keep this hand because I'm on the draw against Jewel. I have to mulligan into a hand that has Force of Will. So I'm going to mulligan in this hand. Uh, all right, I'm going to keep this one, but obviously we can just lose on turn one here. Uh, I think I'm just going to get rid of an emerald. So obviously I don't have a force in this hand, but I do have a counter spell on turn two. Okay, that's fine. And I have a wasteland for, um, for a saga. Just going to go mana crypt top, spin top here. Inevitable Betrayal, Island Pearl. I actually think we want like none of those cards, right? So we might end up uh probably just gonna end up luring them away. I didn't actually order them, I should have still have ordered them. Five mana. The one ring. Steel sabotage. Maybe we just hard cast this Lorien revealed. Wow, they just have force backup for the one ring. I mean, how many needles did I bring in? I only brought in one. That was a mistake. I should have brought in two needles. Kind of have some muscle memory there. Um, I guess I'm just drawing all these cards anyways. I mean, casting Lorien is clearly better than not casting Lorien, right? So. I guess we simply put the pearl on top and then draw through these. I mean, is it better? Maybe it would be better to just cycle and get rid of those three bad cards. <laughs> kind of think it would be. But, I mean, we do end up still here with a lot of action, right? So, I don't know. All right, well, we have another Force. And then we have Mystical Tinker. We could, if we don't have the Force, we can spin the Mystical and then just go Mystical Tinker. That still looks fine. They do have a million cards now, though. I feel like we're gonna have to force, right? Yeah. It's not good for the home team. Going to spin, hold priority, draw, and then see if this force resolves. And then, well, drawing mystical still sucks, right? So like, we're still better off drawing top. I guess this doesn't do anything. Knew the cards were there. Oh, <laughs> Academy? Big. New ring? Sure. Uh, this is a bribery, but cheaper, actually. A zero, five mana less, actually. Unfortunately, mana is not the problem we have at the moment, so not exactly an upside. Ugh. All right, well, we have to somehow not die, and, uh, yeah. Don't know how we're doing that. Shield will end step. They just have another one. All right, good luck, opponent. I don't think we're going to get there, chat. I think we're dead. We had two counters. Not too bad, but not enough. I like how fast they play, though. All right, I'm going to see it here. 
Oh, uh, all right. Let me br bring back uh, this other needle that I forgot. Let's get rid of this inevitable betrayal. I guess we could have another fluster. I mean, fluster's like not very good against their deck, but I feel like inevitable betrayal just does nothing. So, all right. Game three on the play. I've got. Man, this hand needed a Lorien revealed really badly. Sphinx doesn't do anything. There's no point in bringing in Sphinx. All right, Mulligan. All right, I got an As Foretold. I've got Saga Gaming. Uh, Yeah, I'm just going to get rid of the Academy and just go like Saga Saga, right? I guess I don't need to... Yeah, because I need to pitch this. Okay. All right, so I can play two Sagas and then play an As Foretold and draw cards, and maybe that gets me there. How many cards do they keep? Seven? Hmm. Huh. Just turn one workshop ring ring. Banana phone. Ooh, doo. Man. The opponents have some solid hands. This could be a hard game. Turn one ring, turn two jewel. Oh no. <laughs> a real ancestral. I mean, if they cast a drill, we just lose, right? Not much we can do. I didn't really build my deck to be jewel. Just has some counter magic, but maybe not enough counter magic anymore. My deck doesn't really want to play Null Rod as a problem. Oh, Mystic Forge. Okay. That's fine. Or they could just hit every box and it's not fine? No way. <laughs> all right, all right. All right, so what are we doing here? We're just going to get a Black Lotus. Cast some blue spells. Sure looks like it. All right, it's our time, chat. They do already have about a million mana in play. I wasn't looking closely enough to see if it was hand or not. Uh, I think I would rather have an extra blue mana. So let's cast As Foretold. Let's cast Ancestral Visions. Target us. Vision. Let's cast Ancestral Recall targeting us. Let's cast Tinker with Force Backup. Get a black a bowl of citadel. Let's play a needle on the one ring. Let's play a Lorian reveal and draw three. Let's play a it's gonna be an island off the top. Let's play an As Foretold. Whoa! <laughs> I have Time Walk Vision now. Let's bounce this Mystic Forge. I'm the I'm the Jewel deck now, baby. <laughs> Metamorph P. <laughs> this is the classic jewel hand, baby. It's it's the classic jewel hand. <laughs> All the blue cards, no blue mana. Uh, I guess we can also, you know, cast using our other as foretold, our ancestral vision. And then we name abandoned. <laughs> This deck's so sick. This is like Jewel, but if it was fun. Ah, oh, yes. Let's go. Wait, here we go.
Here we go. Fourth and final. No, wait. Fifth and final round of our Vintage League with As Foretold. I'm hoping we can get a real nice one. This hand is probably not good enough. If it had a bunch of mocks, then we could go for the, the broken balance line again. But uh, this hand just got a lot of blanks in it. Let's mulligan this. I'd like to inevitable betrayal against an oath opponent. That's what we're missing here. This is definitely a keep. Um... Is this like a pitch strip mine angle where you go mox, cycle, island, play island, saga, time walk? Probably. Or if we draw an Ancestral Vision, we can just slam As for Toll with Force Backup. All right, what do you got for us, opponent? What kind of games are we playing? No Luris. Please, no Bazaar. Please, no Bazaar. Please, no Bazaar. Okay, that, that's a good sign for no Bazaar. All right, no Bazaar, no Bazaar. Let's go. Is it Oath? Is it a Tropical Island? It is a Tundra. It is a Mana Vault. Oh, is it Blue White Ring? Monastery Mentor? I think that can resolve. Oh, Sensei's Top. It's pretty good with Monastery Mentor. I think I'm just going to try to ignore it. Could end up coming to bite me. Wow, just the auto draw. I like it. Nothing. All right. Inevitable Betrayal. Well, Monastery Mentor is probably the card I wanted to Inevitable Betrayal. But we can cast Bribery. Turn 3 Bribery. Or turn 2 Bribery. I just hope there's something good to hit. It also shuffles their top away, so... Alright, I'm going to cast As Foretold. And then cast Inevitable Betrayal. I'd love to have hit a Mentor. They have Force? That's why I didn't want to fight over the, the Sensei's top. We'll force your force. All right. Well, time to cast Bribery. Not suspend Bribery. Cast Bribery. Target an opponent. Target a you. Uh huh. And <laughs> no, there's nothing left. It's Esper Boomer Pio. No! You can't be serious. All right, well, we're going to get Lavinia. That'll help, actually. It'll be pretty good on this board. All right, so I, I bribery for their Lavinia. They only have one land. They lose their Sensei's top. They have active monks, but that's not that big a deal. I probably should have taken a picture of that. I didn't. And we have Saga Gaming coming on, so... This seems fine. They drew a Soul Ring. Notably, a Mox in that they can cast and doesn't get countered by Lavinia. Also makes me get hit for six or seven, I should say. Uh, my, 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 my guys are not large yet. My constructs are not large. Oh, hello there. Should I cast this for, for a mana or for free, chat? I feel like we should cast it for a mana in case we draw a free one. Nice. So now we can cast the free one. Or we can go get a Snapcaster. Oh! Inevitable Betrayal for a Snapcaster would have been sick. But I don't have an island. So I guess I will cast As Foretold and draw three. Okay. Play a Mox. I can play one of these for free on my next turn, too. So what I can do is next turn, on my on their turn, I can cast Brainstorm for free and then crack it away. What? Okay, so on their turn, I cast Brainstorm for free. <gasps> Restore balance? Should we restore balance against this Monastery Mentor? Kind of seems good. Though, like, 
Inevitable trail for a Snapcaster for Ancestral also seems good. But Mystical Tutor for Tinker wins the game, so... We should probably do that. Okay, we should just do that. No, no, no. I want to take my wins. My deck is like doing really cool stuff right now. I want to take that win where I can get it, you know? All right. Wait, my deck just worked on overdrive in that game. Huge. Huge. Big. Let's go. We'll just lose to Dredge and beat everything else. Okay. Uh, P.O. Boomer Esper P.O. Did they have Sagas in their deck chat? Does anyone remember? I guess I can go back and look. No sagas. True boomer Esper Pio. They have their own balance in the deck. We're definitely going to take a bunch of betrayals out. I might leave one in though. Getting a mentor would be nice. And even getting Lavinia is not that bad. So I'm not even sure you want Fragmentize. I feel like getting a cage is actually okay. They can't win if we betray our mentor. It is definitely harder for them to win. That's not how Esper Pio works. You can very easily win with um draw your whole deck, activate Citadel twice. Um Caracas looks good. I think it's just this. I think it's three betrayals out for some fluster storms and for some cages. If I was on the play, maybe steal sabotage, but obviously our cage is a Nambo with uh our Citadel, but I think that's okay. This hand is probably just not good enough. Let's try again. This hand is, I guess, better. Shrivine's definitely a lot worse. Mox. Soul Ring. Remora? This is this is like my this is my 2019 Esper Pio deck. That's wild. I mean if they untap and PO us, we do lose. Kind of needed to draw. I think I just hit their blue mana. I love it. I mean, I, I'm 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 down to play some some 2019 Esper Pio. I'm always down, but their record, I think it's 0-1 at the moment. All right, so if they just like go land Pio, that's bad. Anything else is probably fine. So top top is really good here. Top is really good here. We're in a really bad spot, honestly. I really needed to draw Island so I could have Flusterstorm for PO. But I have a freaking Urza Saga instead. If I had Flusterstorm for P.O., I really wouldn't be that worried. But this thing just never produces blue mana. It's really weird like that. Oh, they didn't find an island off their spin? That's good. Okay, if I can just draw an island this turn, I think I'm okay. 
Because if I can just be able to fluster storm their PO, that well, I guess I can't fluster storm their PO because they just don't have to pay. Okay, well, never mind. I I'm just doomed. Yeah, because it doesn't cast my spells, man. <laughs> why don't why do I play lands that don't cast my spells? I think we're just gonna have to force through this for Mora, probably. All right, so they didn't hit any blue lands. So theoretically, we get a black lotus here. And we play, we just play through the Remora, maybe. I feel like we have to, right? Like, what's our other option, realistically? I guess, theoretically, we could just wait one more turn and get a Sapphire and just, like... <sighs> yeah, but this loses our, this loses our Flusterstorm backup. And they could just use the vault if they really want to. If we just get a sapphire, I'd like want to suspend ancestral or something, but I, I but that's not good either. I think the answer is just wait though. It doesn't seem like wait's the answer. I do kind of need to draw. I mean, I have a Gataxian probe to draw through a land too. Let's see if they use the mana vault. They are going to use the mana. Oh, they're going to spin. Okay. I don't know. Like, does this actually get better for me, though? Like, if they if they still go land PO, I still die. Mm. I really think that strip mine was key here. Did it buy them enough time? That's the question. I needed to draw more lands in the sequence. Or even a Force of Will would have been really, really helpful. Well, they're debating it. They're debating the Mana Vault. I should have F6 because I can wait. I can F3 real quick if they get to the main phase. What a weird game. Well, they ticked it. They're paying. They're paying. All right. If you say so, opponent. Watch them just like slam Talarian. Oh, no, you can't be real. You can be real. Be serious. Be serious. This is the un this is th There's just simply no justice. Oh, and they did the sensei's top wrong. I think I'm supposed to let this resolve. Because they have to hit a Mox Opal to play the Remora again. I mean, if we fluster, we lose. We don't have any mana. If I had gotten a Sapphire, maybe... Trust the probe to do what? I think I, I do think I'm letting this resolve and just like hoping they don't draw a new opal. If they draw an opal, we lose on the spot, but if they don't draw an opal, then we have a chance. The problem is like finding land isn't good enough. All right, if they just, they didn't draw an opal. So they have seven cards in hand, but we have a chance. So I think my play might end up being okay. Here we go. All right, so probe, start with probe, see what they're working with here. They are working with two force of wills.
Uh, all right, cool. Let's just go next. Um, yeah. Talarian Academy off the Sensei's top was not ideal. I actually think on the play we want these steel sabotages. Maybe we cut our island. Oh, we don't need these restore balances. They're pretty bad here. Even balance is pretty bad here. This is fine. Uh, yeah. Okay. Why do we draw Citadel on all of our opening hands? So this, this hand goes turn one, suspend two ancestral vision. I just can't tinker into anything, though. If I could tinker into Citadel, I'd keep this hand. Frustrating. Oh, okay, sure. Good mulliganing. I'm just jamming Tinker for anyone asking. It's fine. If they counter it, they counter it. But if they don't counter it, we win, so... All right, well, they countered it. Lay these out ahead of uh, a Lavinia. If we, like, do the Ancestral thing, like, it does, uh, it, it's just, like, weak to, like, a bunch of random things. Whereas if we just Tinker, we have a chance. Basic Island. Bro, okay, sure. Uh-huh. Reasonable. Not bad. Mox, uh-huh. Mox, okay. It's on the sensei stop. Okay. Sure. Uh huh. Esper PO, broken deck. I'm not waiting. I don't think waiting helps me. Spin. I mean, if they have two forcibles in the top 11, top 12, so be it. Inevitable betrayal. All right, well. Not great. Not good. Uh, no, I'm going to hard cast force here. I might even pitch cast force here because of Flusterstorm. Yeah, I think the answer is pitch cast force to play around Flusterstorm. I did it right this time. I'm just super losing this game, unfortunately. Losing to Esper Pio would be sweet karmic justice. That's a sick draw, isn't it? Uh, we should play our land drop so that we don't get fluster stormed. Balance gets two cards and I lose an island. It's probably correct. Little mine rod action. Two lands to keep. Sacrifice the rest. Okay. Little mine rod action. Could be pretty good here. I got rid of Force of Will and a land. Interesting. They redraw top and then they just need to draw Pio, I guess. Oh, or they can even have, like, Demonic, Yogwill. Looks pretty bad for me. Yeah, they can even draw... I guess drawing into PO is not great here. They have to do one more turn. Kind of needed, like, a little bit more from my Lorien revealed. Like, Force Blue card, maybe, or... 
I don't know. Teferi's good, but is it enough, really? They drew something. Black mana? Vampiric? Oh. Yogwill? Bruh, you can't be real right now. It's like the best card left in their deck. Last card, Yogwill. Last card, Pio. Yeah, last card, Yogwill, it looks like. Into Ancestral. If they hit two, if they hit a Moxon, then they can PO. That's, that's like, ah, oh, it's so bad for me. All right, they didn't hit it, so. Just Ancestral Rebuy, basically. Land Ancestral. I guess they technically have another mana. They can replay this Opal still. All right, I mean, that could have gone worse. That could have been a lot worse for us, so. I think we should just be happy that that's what happened as foretold. Should we bait with the as foretold? I feel like we should. Okay. Very. Okay. I mean, I can't do sh I guess maybe I should hold this in case I draw fours. But if I... Yeah, I should just I should just play Teferi and bounce first in case I draw fours. Because if I draw a zero drop, I can still play as for Tolan play it. So I should just hold this in case I draw fours. Small mistake. I could bounce that as for told, sure. But then, then now I can't... Like, if I, if I draw an Ancestral, I can't cast the Ancestral, so... Is there like is there like anything I can draw with a mox? I feel like I'm supposed to bounce this mox in case I draw a time walk. I drew an as for told. Sick. Okay, well, I hope my opponent doesn't kill me. That would be bad. Oh, they upkeep. Oh, so they're just gonna vamp. Wait, what happened? Wait, what the hell just happened? Mentor? Oh, it's because they want a trigger for Mentor? I didn't leave in any Restore Balance, huh? I kind of needed my balance back. <laughs> Funny how that works. Watch them just cast P.O. This does not look like a winning game unless I simply... They do draw nothing and I draw Ancestral Visions, right? Oh, they didn't draw nothing. That's bad for me. They also have down a mana. Opposition Agent. Interesting. Uh, Yeah, well, if I can draw Ancestral Visions into Volt Key... I simply can never draw the card I need to draw, huh? Meh. I have so many draw spells in my deck. I have three Lorien revealed, four Ancestral Vision. My like, Half my deck is draw threes. We would have gone off. Kind of sad. I feel like this was a super winnable game. My opponent was just a little bit too strong. Yep, they found something off their top too. Oh, just a Mana Crypt? Mana Crypt is okay. 
As long as you don't PO me. I think I live for a turn here. Okay. All right. Well, I still have the draws. Assuming they don't have a force in their hand. I have seven draw spells in my deck. Brainstorm is another one. I have a bunch of draw spells in my deck. I also have Esper World on zero and uh, one and two. Top deck, please. I just fucking hate this card. Ugh. Yeah. Sounds about right. All right. All right. Well, we weren't able to get there, unfortunately. <laughs> 2019 Esper PO is an unbeatable league deck for sure. With the help of our uh, our no show opponent, we did end up with a three two though, so not too bad. Where are my draw spells? I just can't see them. Perfect. A three two is not that bad, honestly. The deck did do the thing. I think the inevitable betrayals looked pretty bad, unfortunately. Uh, we weren't able to find opponents where they were really strong, so like we could theoretically just cut these inevitable betrayals and play real cards. The restore balance also does not seem good. So like maybe there's something here if we were to like simply remove these cards from the deck and then play something else. Preordain? I don't know. More Teferi? Like the Ancestral Vision as foretold thing was not that bad. Maybe you play like one inevitable betrayal. But uh it didn't go it didn't go too too badly. I just don't think Demonic Tutor is like that good. That's the problem. And I also like didn't want to uh uh, didn't want to play black mana in our deck. So, like, we could put black mana in the deck and play Vampiric Demonic and, and four more tutors. I just don't know if that's actually good. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I mean, I'm aware. I get it. I, I just thought that this would be more interesting. Unfortunately, like, we didn't really play the matchups where Inevitable Betrayal would be good. For, for Crashing Footfalls. I feel like Crashing Footfalls is just not a good card, unfortunately. So, but I mean, like, I guess we can, like, we can, I mean, maybe you just cut white and you just, I mean, Teferi was really good, actually. Teferi, Teferi was quite good. I'm not actually sure Yogwill is good in this deck. But... Maybe it's fine. Like, having more tutors is more as foretold, which is nice, right? I mean, maybe maybe this is just better. No, unfortunately, we were we were vanquished by the, uh, the 2019 Esper P.O. deck. So we could do this, and then these come out. I don't know. Like, is this better? Maybe. I'm just, like, worried about being able to cast my spells. Because these shells are just, like, really bad at casting spells. Uh, underground C. But, like, yeah. I mean, this is, this is probably a route you could choose to go, right? Casting Profane Tutor off of As Foretold does sound like a good time. Yeah, I mean, I don't think you need more combos. Like you're already playing Volt Key and Tinker Citadel, right? I don't think the I don't think you need to add more combos to your deck. This is definitely a route I considered taking. I just thought maybe Inevitable Betrayal would produce some cooler gameplay than uh, than going this way. And I also was like pretty worried about playing a bunch of Underground Seas and Tundras in my deck. Like I kind of wanted to be blue black. I guess you could theoretically still be blue black. You could cut balance to fairy to fairy, play some catch all removal spells. Um, and then you would have to play a bunch of dismembers. Like maybe that's actually better, right? So if you just like take take out balance and take out Teferi. I mean Teferi is really good in this deck, right? But you could do that too. If you're like super worried. You probably have to play some actual removal spells in the main instead of a Caracas, though. So it would just be like Caracas out, Tundra's out. Tundra's uh, Underground Seas in. It's probably like a Misty Rainforest. Um, at this point, maybe you play Petal because um, you're a Yogwill deck. 
theoretically you might even be able to storm off in this deck but i'm not 100 percent sure you like go back up to four profane tutor or you could play merchant scroll oh we, we need to catch all removal spell it's probably like repeal maybe maybe it's like repeal merchant scroll the merchant scroll is not very good in this deck though so similar than to that maybe i don't know something like this is probably like an interesting route you could choose to go as well so i actually was pretty like relatively impressed by the as foretold ancestral vision stuff maybe we ran hot maybe we didn't but thank you to simpai again for the donation deck list if you want to see your deck list played on this channel make sure to check out the patreon link in the description below where you can find all the information you need to submit a donation deck list more vintage videos on this channel every monday wednesday and friday i will see you then